Greetings, ladies and gentlemen players, and it is that time again. It is time where I make a little bit of a drama video, unfortunately, not because I want to, but because I think it is important to do so. Topic of discussion today is the one I keep winding up circling back to, the AGA. For those of you who are unaware, the AGA this week is having their U.S. Go Congress. It is the one chief event that supposedly everyone wants to go to. It lasts a week. There's an open where everyone can play in it. There's uh, professional stuff that you can go and listen in on, lectures and whatnot. There's simuls. There's diehard tournaments, like lightning little things. There's Perigo. There's a partridge in a pear tree somewhere. You just have to find it. Now, full disclosure, I'm, I'm an American. I probably don't seem that way sometimes, but I am an American. So I, I do want them to do well. Like, at the end of the day, I do want the American Go Congress to do well. So when I look at some of the things that they've been doing lately and how, they're, uh, how they've been organized, it, it kind of makes me wonder if they want to do well. And I know that's a really charged statement and there's already, already setting off probably some feels. So let's work backwards. Let's see if I understand what the AGA wants to be, the events that they want to put on, and see if uh, both of our definitions are in agreement and see if what they're doing is in line with that idea. So right away, we can go over here to the AGA's website. Let's go ahead and zoom in on it because that's can be a little bit hard to read otherwise. Here, here's their website. Uh, say what you will about their website. This is it. You can find a whole bunch of stuff on it. That's all fantastic. Right now, what immediately jumps out to me is if I was a person who wanted to know more about the American Go Congress and what they're getting up to, what they're doing, uh, wanted to read all about like what's going on in their events, like all just like all of that stuff, right? Right away, I'm probably coming to their website. And uh, unfortunately, here you can see it's rather bland. Like you have to kind of hunt a little bit. You have to scroll down. Like where is it? Upcoming the events? Is 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 this? Look, there's nothing that really draws your attention. In fact, there's a Go Congress currently going on and where their coverage of it is. Like, it should be a huge splash screen on, like, it should essentially take over this banner for the most part. And, like, everything on the page, in my opinion, should be to get people to tune in to that coverage. It's just not, it's just not that. You kind of have to hunt for it. Uh, you have to kind of, like, read down here where it is. I think this is supposed to be it. Yeah, live stream from the Go Congress. It's like it's like a little uh, sentence, literally right here. So it doesn't seem like they really are trying to draw people's attention to the coverage, and right away that's weird. Like they they do want people to tune in, right? So I would assume it'd be blowing up all over this place. So I, I don't know who's in charge of this, but you definitely need to talk to them, in my opinion, if if you agree that you want people. Uh, to jo to join your co the coverage, that you agree that they're probably going to join your website to find the coverage, and if you agree eh, that nothing is really calling attention to this once a year coverage that you're putting on, all right? I, I think I think we're all in agreement about that. I I would assume I would assume. You tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Absolutely. Tell me if I'm wrong. So right away, that feels weird. And the reason why that feels weird is because if, if I land on your page and it doesn't seem like you're excited about what you're doing, why, why should I or anyone else be? You know, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Like, I feel like you need to reflect and it needs to be reflected how hyped you guys are for this once a year event that, 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 that takes place. Which brings me to the next issue. Like, are you guys hyped for this? Because I don't know. I have no idea if you are. If, like, I know that Reddit, and it pains me to say it, even the Badook Reddit is a cesspool of trolls lately, but I'm not seeing anything on there posted either 
about this event that's going on. Here, some other dude is talking about missing the Go Congress. There's a, there's a, there's a thing about missing the Congress. They're talking about missing it. But where, where's the, the attention being drawn to the Congress and to the coverage of the Congress? Like, why isn't that plastered all over everything? Like, I would think that would be on Reddit. I would think that would be, uh, I mean, not Twitter. Let's face it, not, that thing's sinking pretty fast. Maybe, maybe not Twitter so much. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'd understand if it's not all over Twitter. Uh, but yeah, Reddit, Facebook, threads, that's a, actually another one. It's taking off fast. So I would think that your social media dude or dudette, whoever's in charge of this, should have your uh, account already created on threads since that's since that's popping off and you'd be all over there calling attention to your event. Like, it should be everywhere. Like, you guys are excited to put this on every year, right? So it should be really reflecting and over and over again, I'm just not seeing it. Um, content creators, you know, maybe you hate me barking at you, so screw me. When I say this next bit, ignore me completely. But like Colossus, he goes to your events. He's uh, he, He's got a membership. I, he's at Congress right now. Um, Nick Sabicki, uh, Daniel ML001, um, who else? God, I'm bad with names. I think Struggle Bus Dude and that, uh, BVTuber. I don't remember. I either way, you probably know the content creators for Go in, uh, North America better than I do. But I don't think any of them, I don't think any of us, have been, like, reached out to by you guys to be advertising your event which is also weird again you, you want people to go to it right you want you want people going to it you want people tuning into your to your stuff so would you you know reach out to the people who are actively making content and are able to actively spread your message so to to spread their message like, hey, there's a GOAT Congress here, and there's going to be, like, events here, and this person's going to be doing the coverage, this, this person's doing the coverage, and that is going to be fun. It goes from here to here. You know, do the thing. And you can give them, uh, speaking from experience this time, when sponsors approach me to, you know, put out stuff, they usually have graphics they want to have appearing on screen to advertise this. They have some B-roll they want up in the background. So your B-roll could be coverage from the previous Congresses. Is like, we're getting more into that in a minute too. None of that. And you could even be seen supporting the community because you can like throw, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks at, uh, at, at Colossus or Nick or whatever, just for them to, you know, be blurbing about your stuff. Uh, in their videos and streams each month leading up to the Congress. So I, I expect like more outreach, more engagement into the community. As is not seeing any of that. Not literally, literally zero. Which makes me again wonder. It's like, okay, they're not actively reaching out to to advertise uh, to like the creators um, on the forums, on on their own website. So you don't get the sense that you want anybody watching. Which is weird. Which is weird. Which is weird. <sighs> if you have one person in charge of this, like the, the whole outreach thing and social media thing, fire them. I'll say it straight out. Fire them. They don't know what they're doing. And they're hurting you. Whoever's, whoever's in charge of that, get rid of them. They're doing you a horrific disservice, and you need to find other people to do this. Furthermore, and I've always said this part, like, what you're looking for people, maybe, maybe you want all of this to happen. Maybe you want it, maybe you've always wanted it to happen. For the love of nuts, put it on your website so people know what you're looking for. Like, if, if you have... A list of things you want done. For the love of everything, put it somewhere here. It's like, hey, do you want to be involved in the AGA? 
this is a list of stuff that we'd like to have done. You can apply to, the, you know, this email here. Because if people even knew that you had openings for these sorts of things that you want to have done, maybe you would actually get them filled. But again, nothing. You know? The closest thing that I can see is join the AGA and become a chapter. And they'd be like, well, that's not what, I, it's not what I'm looking to do. So if even if anyone did want to help you, they'd be like, okay, what do they want me to do? They want me to join and sign up as a chat. Yeah, I ain't doing that. So I guess I don't need my help. And then they're just going to go elsewhere. So you got to think about that. You got to think that's really, really important. Really, really important. <sighs> this next one's going to hurt. This next one's going to hurt. It's the coverage itself. Again, what is it you want to do? In my opinion, and again, stop me if I'm wrong. In my opinion, I think you want to reach new players. I think you want to spread go throughout the U.S. and North America, probably the West in general. Is any of this ringing a bell? Because if, you're, if that's what you want to do, it's not what I'm seeing. By a long shot. Let's say this is, and this is what you want to do. Like, hey, we got a channel. This is, this is us reaching out to the internets. Okay. Let's go there, shall we? So this is your YouTube channel. Hey there, this... Here's your YouTube channel. You can see the views that you're pulling in. And there should be an alarming... There should be an alarming stat here. Should be a huge alarming stat here. And that is... Like, the first day or whatever... You had a couple of, sh a couple of people tune in... And they're dropping off. Because your content's not engaging to them. At the end of the day, it's not. To be fair, they probably can't find it for the reasons that I literally just said. Because they have to go fish to figure out where you are. And you're not hitting anyone new because you're streaming on YouTube. YouTube is not a place to be discovered for streams. YouTube is a place for large people to... Tune in to have their audience tune into them. What do I mean by that, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Let's say you want to reach out to a new person. You're going to spread go on the internets like we all want. All right. Show me how to find you on YouTube. How would I stumble across a live stream, let alone a go live stream on YouTube? This is their homepage. You can pause the video and I'll wait. What, what, what does someone click on? What do you click on? Scroll down? You can scroll down as far as, you, as your little eyes can take you. It's not going to matter. You're not going to find it. Because YouTube's given up live streaming to Twitch. YouTube is for people who have already been established. And I mean like 50, 100k plus. You stream there. Your, those diehard, those like fans you've already brought up, they tune into you. It's not a place for discovery for live streams. Because you can scroll down, where, 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 do I, where do we tune in? Who's going to find you? How are they going to click on you? Who doesn't already know you of your existence? Where? They're going to click this. If they know to click live, maybe they can find you. But they're probably not going to because there's like not. It's you can see right here. It's horrifically unorganized. Whether or not they find you, uh, good luck. Because YouTube's given up that space. They are not competing with Twitch anymore. They're not even competing with Kick. They gave it up. It's just a feature for big YouTubers. Take it or leave it. They don't care. But you've gone all in on YouTube. That is a mistake. There's no other way to say it. That's a mistake. You're just not going to get the discovery there unless, and this circles around to my earlier topic, unless your social media people are on point. If they are hitting up Twitter, if they're hitting up Facebook, if they're hitting up Reddit, if they're hitting up threads everywhere to advertise your event, they have to be doing that every month leading up to it. 
so they can tune, they know that it's there, and they specifically tune into you because no one's going to find you. Period. That's the reality. So if you want to go all in on YouTube, that's what you have to do. If you don't want to do that, you can see there's a problem here. Because if your goal is to expand, uh, go to like new people, and you want to find new people, reach out to new people, be discovered by new people, you're not going about doing any of that. Not on the internet, you aren't. Now, you might be asked to say, well, how is that different from, from, twi from uh, Twitch, for example? I'm glad you asked. So here's the thing, here's the first thing that comes out to mind that's very, very different from, from YouTube. And to be fair, this is partly my fault. I wanted to be at your event uh, this month to actually sit down and talk with you guys about this. But unfortunately, I had, I had other things and I didn't know you could just come for a couple of days and like figure out a way to pay for that. And by the time I realized it, it was way too late because it was like a day away. You're holding a formal event. You, if you weren't going all in on YouTube, could contact Twitch, tell them we're doing an event, it goes from here to here, and they will put you on the front page of their platform. You get advertised. You get new eyes. You can see the first person here has 8.5 thousand viewers tuning in because they're on the front page of Twitch. That is new eyes on your content. Even if you're not the lead, you can see kind of there are thousands of people tuning into this, right? It gets better. There are also multiple categories your channel can fall under. Because you have high-level professional content, you get to be verified as, prof as professional players of this uh of this particular genre. Because you can see here, what are pro players? These are streamers who are verified professionals by, a, by an official sanctioning organization, that's you, or play for at least one esports team. So people who are looking for professional content will hit this category and find you. So now not only are you on the front page of Twitch, you're broadcasting under the specific uh, category for professional content on Twitch, like professional gameplay. That boosts you to new eye. And you can see like chess people already know. It's like, hey, yeah, I'm going to be streaming under there because it helps with discovery. So you've got all of these ways to get discovered. You have all of these new ways to have fresh eyes put on to the thing that you're doing once a year. And we're not hearing anything about it. We don't see any attempt for you to be utilizing any of this on any platforms at all. So the question is, is that something that you want to actually do? Or isn't it? You have to make this decision. Like, are you a professional organization who does want to go the mile and expand go this way? Or at the end of the day, are you just hobbyists and we shouldn't be expecting that much for you, from you? Because it's one or the other. If you are the professional organization that I think you're trying to be, and if you do want to expand Go, like I think you're trying to do, that brings you to the content itself and some of the fall off on your, uh, uh, on your views. Because unfortunately, uh, and I mean no disrespect to anyone who you have broadcasting this, but for this broadcast, for example, you've got 38 minutes of people who will just tune out. If you did everything that I said, you got all the people joining, they joined and they saw this screen for 40 minutes, they'd leave. They don't care. They're not going to tune in. Because those new players, this is Greek to them. Why would they sit around and watch this? There's literally no reason for them to. It doesn't make any sense to them. They have no idea if it will ever make any sense to them. Don't say, no, it's fine, because we, we, we put the word commentary here in 40 minutes. They're not going to stick around for 40 minutes in the hopes that maybe an hour from now they'll understand what they're seeing. Does that make sense? 
So the content itself is like you don't want people to watch anyway. Because if you did secure the new viewers, they're going to nope out of there instantly. So you have to rethink and how you're rethinking about this should start today for next year's event on how you're going to, how you're going to display this how you're going to show people why they want to learn Go, why they want to go to the Go Congress. That's your job, in my opinion. Again, maybe you don't view that as yours. Maybe that's never been your job. Maybe you don't want that to be your job. That's never been your intention for the coverage going forward, now or ever. But if anything, if you like anything that I've said at all here in this video so far, then that, yeah, that's your job. So how are you going to make it appeal to current and new players? That has to start the minute you go live. Another thing that you need to start doing, and I, I've, I've watched multiple of these videos. Like I, you have commentators, it's good. You're bringing on new people. That, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I see no reason to go to your event in any of the coverage of your event. Where, where, where are the people having fun? Why would I want to go here? Anywhere? What, what, what tune into? What in all of this uh, streamed footage tells me why I want to spend an entire week with you guys? Like the Rengo thing was kind of cool. We got, we got some shots of some people there. But one thing that you notice, what you're immediately gonna uh, call out, is. One, well, there's almost always a wait, which is irritating. Um, but there's not a lot of foot, not a lot of footage of the of the event itself. Like, where's the B-roll of people having of normal everyday people who go to the event having fun? Because this is your essentially this is your advertisement for the U.S. Go Congress, and as an advertisement, it sucks. Like, let's not beat around the bush. As an advertisement, nothing here says, "Oh man, I want." Uh, man, that looked like a lot of fun. I really want to go to that event next year. Nothing here says that. Which is why I always like was weird. Like, do people do you want people to come to this? Because if you do, you have to show them why they should go. Right? Am I taking crazy pills? So. I don't think you are, from what I've already talked to people at the event, I don't think you are. But I would hope that you're already accumulating B-footed, B-roll, of the current event. So you can have a nice compilation, maybe at the start, instead of this like 40 minutes of dead time. You could have it, uh, you have compilation of B-footage, uh, B-roll, maybe with some people talking about it, how cool last year was. Something, maybe some upsets that occurred from last year. Um, just anything and everything. So you, one, don't have dead air. Two, the event looks exciting, so people want to go. But instead, it's not. And the second thing you need to do, again, if you do anything that I mentioned in this video, and your intention is to get new people, new eyes on the video, new eyes on the, on the, on the game, you have to make sure that it's interesting and easy to follow for them as well. Now, that part's tricky, but there are so many different ways you could do it from uh, having like a complete beginner on along with a professional and talking about the game just to get like a complete newbie uh, perspective of the game. Maybe you could have newbie boards on at the start of the at the start of the match, because I think the dead air is to give time for the the games to progress. But new players play faster. You could go over a couple of their games, a couple of the newbie games, right? So you can see, and you can talk about how new players are playing the game. And you could show, oh yeah, you see. So uh, what they need to learn is like you know liberties in here, because you can see this person doing the thing, and he's not really counting the liberties, and there's some cutting points, and like these are vital parts of the go, as we're gonna see here. And then you could switch to like a higher level game, because like you can see here they're actually protecting the cutting points here, and this, these people aren't. Though so that's like the distance they gotta go. Like there's so much you can do there. 
to make it attractive for new players to to like come across the idea that this is a fun game and you're putting out a fun event that people want to go to. Like, there's just so much more that you could be doing and you're not, and it's painful. Especially because many people now view you as an organization that is professional. Like, you're putting out... Prof- well, okay, you are you have, like, the North American... Uh, what are they called? I don't know. North American things doing, doing, the, doing the pro qualifications and whatnot. But they associate you with that, too. So the question is... Are you going to put out a professional level event with professional level coverage? Are you going to give thoughts to actually what you're putting out? Or aren't you? It's up to you. People will be interested in your event or people will not be interested in event in your event, depending on you. Don't say, don't say you're looking for volunteers to do the things that you're not telling anyone to do. That's lazy and you know it. If you, have, if you have a vision of things that you want to have done, and I assume that you do, because I assume that the things that I mentioned at the start of the video are the things that you want to have done, then these are things that you should already be thinking about, that you should already be wanting to do, and you should already be recruiting in the previous year to get them done. Now, I know the next thing you're going to say is some of that's going to cost money. And you're right, it will. Do not say that but we're a nonprofit, therefore we can't do that because that's not true. Nonprofits can and do constantly pay for the things, the nonprofit activities that they're trying to have done. Case in point, you paid for your venue. You didn't just, uh, <laughs> you, didn't, uh, you didn't pay for the venue with exposure bucks, did you? Yeah, it's going to cost you some money. But that's where it comes into play. Is this what you want to do? Are you looking to reach out? Are you looking to have a bigger presence? Are you looking to expand? If not, ignore everything and continue business as usual. If you are, then you need to give some serious thought to this because so far, you're not going to get there. Simple as that. It won't happen. You can see from your own metrics, it won't happen. Now, outside of the event, There are so many ways you can also expand, but that would take its own video. I don't really want to get into all of that here. Suffice to say, concerning just the Go Congress, your coverage, your advertisement of it, the months leading up to it, the event itself, from what I'm seeing, I I think you guys have a lot to think about. Your website, yada, yada, yada. I, I think you guys have a lot to think about and some decisions that need to be made. I think you need to talk to some of the people who are in charge of some of these decisions that uh, are being made and figure out if they're capable of doing what you want to do, and if they aren't, to start advertising for the people to do the things that you want to actually have done. Again, assuming any of that is something that you want to change. Maybe, maybe you're happy with where you are. If so, can ignore everything I have to say, but this is just what I and, uh, admittedly, some other Go peoples that I've talked to uh, have been noticing for a while now, and we've all been wondering what what direction you're going. What do you want to be? What is it you want to do? What is your mission statement? So I hope this has given you some ideas that maybe you can implement going forward. I hope that you guys do. Because sooner or later, if you don't, someone else will. Just something to think about. Hope you guys had a great event. And I'll see you around.